Hey there viewers, Eric O at Self Main Auto. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to repair your rear window defogger if the tab breaks off. So what I'm talking about is this little guy right here on these uh, hatchbacks and on a lot of different style uh, uh, rear windows. It's not uncommon to see these tabs broken off, so I'm going to show you how we fix them here in the shop and uh, maybe something you can do on your own if that's broke or give you an idea of the, how these get fixed. First thing we need to do is get this tab out of the connector, so it's just uh, sometimes you got to depress in on the center of those to unlatch them, or they'll have a little lock tab you press, and then because uh, we're just after this piece here. So what I'm going to do on this one, or what my habit is to fix them, is I like to just solder these back to the window. Uh, so I'm just going to take the uh, lock tab, and I'm just going to make sure we put a put a little bit of solder on that before we get uh, get started. That way we're not trying to fiddle with holding the tab and. Uh, you know, getting the solder on it and all that stuff. So I'm just going to use some 60-40 rosin core. Looks like this one has a pretty fair amount of solder on it as it is, so but we'll just make sure that it does. Let's use our soldering gun and get a little bit on there. All right, now that we got that uh, loaded up, so to speak, we're going to go right over to the uh, vehicle and put it on. So what I'd like to do is just take this tab that we just put the uh, solder onto. I'm just going to stick it up here on the window. I'm going to take and just use uh, the solder iron. I'm just going to press it against it, but I'm gonna also going to have something that I can uh, maintain pressure against that tab. Uh, you know, like I'm just going to use this pick. You could use a, a small screwdriver. That way, after the uh, uh, solder uh, melts, I'll just hold it there until everything solidifies, and uh, we should be good to go. So that's the plan. Just gonna hold that up there. Now this will take a while. A lot of times to transfer heat. The uh, window here is a huge heat sink, so but as soon as you see the solder flow right from underneath it, I usually pull the heat away. And I just allow it to cool. Doesn't take very long. So you can see that's a pretty, uh, pretty simple task. Uh, only takes just a few seconds, you know. I've never used one of those glue kits they make. I'm not really sure how they work, so maybe you can leave your uh, uh, comments down in the comment box below and, and let us know uh, if you've used those and how those work. You know, I think there's really hardly any cost to this whatsoever, just a little tiny piece of solder and when you get all done, I mean, I think it's locked on there real good. You don't have to worry about that. And you can actually, this tab here is actually bent out a little, so I'll just take and bend that back in. Take our wires, clip it back on. You know, a real simple fix is something you can do, uh, you know, when a customer waits and you don't have to worry about the done dozens of these things. You don't have to worry about the window exploding or, you know, doing it when the vehicle's warmed up. I mean, this thing's got uh, six inches of snow on the bumper and we just drove it in. So anyhow, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it uh, gives you some insight on uh, how to fix those and uh, maybe instills a little bit of confidence that you can just go at it with a just ordinary soldering iron and a little piece of solder. So hope you liked this video. Give us a thumbs up on it if you did. Check us out on Facebook. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, just click the button. And remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.